you are watching an active shooter drill designed to teach students how to save their lives if a gunman enters their school. The three words that students and teachers should follow, run, hide, fight. If you can escape the kill zone, if you can run safely and get out, you run. If you can't escape the kill zone, then you have to hide. Don Longo of Radius Investigations in New York says you should barricade the door and line up against the walls, steering clear of the gunman's line of fire should he shoot through the door. You should also secure the door with whatever you have available, a belt for instance. You keep pressure on that door. You stand ready so in case he comes in. Everyday items can be turned into weapons to fight back. Turn off the lights so the shooter thinks the room is deserted. And this is important. Put your cell phone on silent so your position isn't given away by a ring. We all saw the terrifying video of the gunfire erupting in Parkland. Video taken in real time by the students. Put your phones away. Put your phones away. But is that a good idea? Taking videos while you're in the middle of an active shooter situation is inviting disaster. It absolutely takes you out of survival mode. You're getting tunnel vision looking at the screen and it takes away your ability to use situational awareness to see what's happening. If you can't run or hide, your last resort is to fight. Oh, 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 oh. Throw anything you have at the shooter. If he gets hit in the head with these things, it's a natural instinct. He's probably going to close his eyes. That's when you guys right here take him down. Once he's down, wrestle his weapon away. Invaluable tips that could save your life. <laughs> Take it away, take it away.